in the phenomena of oscillation we have observed one thing when we hanging a pendulum and oscillating it initially we give it a amplitude of say 5 cm and leave it it will start oscillating first time it will be 5 cm then slowly it comes down to 4 3 2 1 and then it stops this is what we have seen actually now this cannot happen unless an external force is applied on it because as per law of inertia if no external force is applied then the velocity should remain constant all the time so the complete motion should move like this now because it has stopped and every after every moment after every oscillation we have seen that amplitude keeps on decreasing so if we make a graph between amplitude and time when the time increase the amplitude decrease and we make a graph here when the time increase this amplitude the displacement this is amplitude the amplitude goes on decreasing this is what happens actually what happens if amplitude do not decrease always it is same as it happens in the clocks because the energy lost is made up by the battery cell or by the spring whatever we give in our clocks so that is uh, compensating the loss of energy so in that how are the oscillations these are the oscillations where at every time every oscillation has same amplitude now this type of oscillation when the amplitude remains same are known as undamped and the one in which the amplitude goes on decreasing is known as damped so these are damped oscillation if you see this peak 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 and we may connect them this is a parabolic decrease parabolic not a straight line okay so these are damped oscillation these are undamped oscillation why there is a damping the damping is due to medium and the other forces acting on it we have seen the phenomena of viscosity when a body moves in the air then the drag of the air opposes its motion and a force viscous force is applied on it that viscous force stops it then there may be friction somewhere here and there and other phenomena which are always restricting it all these are known as the forces of damping now this force of damping depends on one quantity we have studied in viscosity this drag depends upon velocity more is the velocity more is the force of drag and we have seen stokes law f is equal to 6 pi eta a v v is velocity so that force of damping is due to velocity more velocity more damping so force of damping is proportionate to velocity and if we equate it we have to put a constant here this constant is damping constant of that particular oscillation and this is a positive quantity so we make a minus here that shows that force of damping is always opposite to velocity that's why this minus is here so what is b b we will call damping constant and this is what force per unit velocity but this is force now b is damping constant of oscillation depending upon viscosity of medium and mass of the body now when this damping is happening we take the oscillation according to this the displacement goes on decreasing the amplitude goes on decreasing this is damped oscillation and after some time it will stop by the time it stops 
becoming less and less. It is oscillating. During this oscillation, the quantities of oscillation are also affected by damping force. How these are affected? See, here this is undamped oscillation and our equation of displacement is x is equal to amplitude a and frequency omega, a cos omega t. When it is a damped oscillation, then this equation x is equal to a, x is equal to a is there, but it is multiplied with, a is multiplied with a factor and this factor has got t time. When this time and this is negative, negative means it will be in denominator and that will be less than 1. So that is decreasing a. So this factor indicates that a is decreasing with time. Minus shows decreasing because this will come into the 1 upon e something and that is less than 1. So a will be becoming less than a and this decrease is more with increase of time. So when the time is 1, 2, 3, 4 second, we find this factor is reducing the a more and more. So this is the equation for amplitude. This is a variable amplitude which has got t in it. That is one thing. Second, there is a small effect on frequency also. Here we have frequency which is given by this equation. This is inertia and this is restoring. Oh, I have written it uh, up down. No. Yes, this is restoring force. More is the restoring force, more is the frequency. So restoring force and this is inertia. Okay, we have done it in the previous chapter. Now, here, this is same thing, restoring force inertia, but there is a minus factor and in the minus factor, here is this damping constant and there is a decrease in the frequency. So we have seen amplitude is affected by damping constant, frequency is affected by damping constant. Amplitude become less and less, frequency also become less. Okay, then what happens to energy? Energy is half Ka square for the oscillation. This we have done. Now, what is the energy in depth oscillation? Half K is there, but amplitude goes on decreasing. So, in place of A, this is multiplied by this, this factor. Here, we have this factor as, uh, yes, this. This factor comes here also and double because this is square, so this too you will not find here. So this is the new energy in the damped one. So in place of our this equations of undamped, we have to use these three equations for damped oscillation, where damping constant, damping constant and damping constant, decreasing all these three quantities. These are damped oscillations. In the next lecture, we will see what is the meaning of resonance and what are the oscillating forces. Thank you.